In April 2017, Heineken released the World's Apart campaign. It begins with individuals stating their points of view on big issues such as feminism, transgenderism and global warming. Individuals with an opposing view were then introduced and paired with those individuals. The pairs were then asked to complete various team building tasks. The individuals were then shown clips of their partner where they had stated their opposing point of view. After these clips were watched, the pairs were then asked whether they wanted to leave or discuss their differences over a Heineken beer. Heineken paired with Dr. Chris Brower to determine whether the experiment would be worthwhile and the human library who share a similar mission. I have chosen this campaign because it highlights relevant issues that can sometimes be overlooked by brands. The brand has used political conflicts to bring people together rather than divide them. In a sense, this ad also acts as a standalone social experiment. It is not often you see a brand go to this much effort to portray a message. What were the objectives of the campaign? To get people thinking about current issues and using Heineken as a tool to sit and discuss, to bring people together rather than divide them and support their long-standing brand tagline, Open Your World, to increase brand awareness and create a deeper engagement and greater trust with its male target audience, and to make Heineken Britain's favourite premium brand, and also to move away from traditional media and tap into social media platforms more so, as their target consumer is increasingly engaging with media digitally. Heineken have admitted in the past that they have been too narrow with their targeting and have now taken the stance to appeal to a wider audience through broad messaging and brand awareness campaigns. By nature, the advantage of the campaign is that its experiment format featuring topics that affect most people in society has worked very well as it has allowed them to target a broader audience and have a broader appeal. Cindy Talbot commented, We didn't do the campaign with a certain target group in mind. Our consumers are very diverse, so we targeted all of them. However, according to Edelman, Heineken did want to create a deeper engagement and trust with its male target audience. In this particular campaign, the use of emotional marketing has really helped to do this, especially as studies have found that millennial men do respond emotionally to ad content. Heineken have used content marketing to stimulate interest in its products. Chafee et al. 2016 note that content marketing is central to digital marketing campaigns. Content marketing worked in Heineken's favour as it promoted their brand campaign objective without coming across as too sales driven. This is often a criticism that many brands receive as it can result in lack of authenticity. Heineken have applied a narrative structure to their digital marketing campaign to communicate a message and stimulate interest without explicitly focusing on the product. Sang 2015 refers to brand image as the key driver of brand equity. In essence, for this particular campaign, Heineken have considered their usual brand image and have decided to take this one step further with a somewhat alternative stance to appeal to a wider customer base by being more inclusive and conscientious towards big issues. Single Grain, a digital marketing agency, have commented, If you want to create a viral campaign that builds a positive brand image at the same time, create content that stirs inspirational emotions in customers. This is prevalent for Heineken as they have used hard-hitting topics that some individuals may find difficult to talk about. This in itself could have presented some risk for Heineken. For example, Pepsi were earlier criticised for their advert featuring Kendall Jenner which was said to be using protest movements for their own profit. However, fortunately Heineken received some fantastic feedback, especially on social media. Heineken used a three-phase rollout for the World's Apart campaign which included a launch event, showcase in the film at an event for journalists and influencers, a film release on social media, After three days and after gaining organic growth, the brand turned on paid media across Facebook, YouTube and VOD. Finally, phase three was through conversations. In recent years, focusing on conversations rather than just sales has been a key digital marketing strategy when creating campaigns for many brands. Heineken fully implemented this strategy in the World's Apart campaign. This links closely with Heineken's movement to more online media rather than using traditional media channels. Heineken used a video format to promote brand awareness and extend reach through social media marketing and promote emotional and behavioural engagement. As mentioned, Heineken tapped into the digital marketing trifecta with their owned and earned media. The campaign itself can be seen to be very much tailored to promote earned media as the content was easily shareable. The content promoted conversation, sharing and organic exposure, which was further helped by the brand encouraging the use of the Worlds Apart hashtag on social media. As you can see, performance metrics indicate the campaign was very successful. The World's Apart campaign created great benefits for the brand. The video was promoted on Facebook and went viral with over 130,000 shares and over 300,000 engagements. The video also received over 17 million views with 3 million happening in just the first 8 days. Please see the key strengths and weaknesses from the World's Apart campaign. Key strengths included storytelling, use of social media and also sensitivity towards big issues. Key weaknesses included limited product features and a broad target audience. Here are my recommendations. 
Heineken could have built a clearer buyer persona. Developing clearer personas may have also allowed Heineken to tap into the female market more, especially as women are stereotypically considered to be more emotional than men and evoking an emotional response is very much a feature in the campaign. Secondly, the objectives were relatively general and could have run the risk of diluting the message of call to action for the consumer. Clear objectives can ensure that the campaign fits into the overall mission and stays in line with the brand's persona. They can also be used as performance metrics to determine whether a brand achieved what they set out to do when creating the campaign. Heineken could have also had a higher focus on lead generation as the beer itself had very limited exposure in the campaign.